Hello, I'm Daniela Couillé. In this week's Investor Spotlight, we look at the mining services sector and observe that this is an alternative way to gain exposure to the robust investment cycle in the resources sector. Against a backdrop of the current macro environment and higher oil prices, resource companies are investing for major secular themes such as the clean energy transition and increased global food production. The outlook for mining services is upbeat compared to potential macro headwinds for the more cyclical commodity reliant com companies and provides an alternative way to gain exposure to the resource investment theme. The three stocks selected are Orica, Monodelphus and Mineral Resources. We examine if Orica's earnings are at an inflection point and why analysts are so upbeat. We also look at Monodelphus, which is in a sweet spot for lithium contract wins. And lastly, we consider the range of expert outlooks for mineral resources and some bullish expectations. Orica is a $7 billion multinational company and a global provider of explosives and blasting systems for the mining, quarrying and oil and gas sectors. Analysts returned a more upbeat tone after the company's recent update, with Goldman Sachs noting that after years of earnings downgrades via price leakage, the new management have put in place strategic changes and see the company at an inflection point. The analyst points to more positive macro tailwinds, including a stronger commodity prices, supply chain limitations and firm nitrogen markets. Morgan Stanley says Orica's contract pricing beat first half expectations and the company is transitioning its Newcastle, Kooragang Island plant to renewables. Monodelphus is a $1.4 billion engineering company which provides construction, maintenance and industrial services to the resource, energy and infrastructure sectors. Jardin recently upgraded the stock to an overweight from neutral with the company winning $260 million in new contracts over the last two weeks, bringing the total to $610 million in new contracts in the first three months of the first half of 24. City expects Monodelphus will announce a total of 1 to 1.4 billion in new contracts with pickups in the lithium and rare earth space. And Macquarie upgraded the stock to a buy after the strong full year 23 results and is looking for growth in construction revenue in the second half of 24 and maintenance revenue which represents 71% of total revenue. Mineral Resources is valued at $13.4 billion and is a diversified mining services company with construction, crushing and transport services. Although the iron ore and lithium businesses represent the main earnings drivers, the services division is nevertheless sizable and they specialise in build, own and operate as well as crushing mining services. The recent full year 23 results were weaker than expected, but looking forward, analysts expect iron ore and lithium, notably Onslow, to, and the ramp up of Wajina to boost earnings. Mineral Resources also recently purchased Bold Hill from receivers, which offers them a processing hub in the eastern gold fields of WA. According to Blackwater Investment Management, Onslow could add as much as $35 per share, although Morgan Stanley expresses concern that earnings remain vulnerable to the vagaries of commodity prices.